Hi there, I'm Juan from Porter and in this video I will show you how to connect your Facebook Ads data to Google Data Studio. The best thing, you need to code. You need a single line of code and we can get started in a matter of seconds. The first thing I want to show you is how to connect the Facebook Ads data to Data Studio and that is with a connector. You may know that there are many connectors in the market but for this exercise we will use Porter Metrics. There are two ways to connect your data with Porter. One, by going to our website, and second, by searching a connector on Google Data Studio. What is the advantage of using our website? If you get started on portermetrics.com, you will get started with a 14 pages report template. Otherwise, if you get started on Google Data Studio, you will start with a blank report. It is a matter of choice. Now, I will get started first on Data Studio to show you how to connect with any connector, and then we will get started with our website, with portermetrics.com. So on Data Studio, you will go to create, then we will create a new report, and now Google Data Studio will ask us to choose a connector. Remember, a connector is what lets you bring the data from an application to Google Data Studio. Once you're on the Google Data Studio Connectors Gallery, you will type Porter or you will type Facebook Ads to search for Facebook Ads connectors. I will use Porter. As you may see, Porter has connectors for Facebook, for LinkedIn, for Shopify, and many more connections. I will use Facebook Ads plus Instagram Ads. This is important. Some connector providers have separate data for Facebook Ads and Instagram Ads in the same connector. You can use the data from both with Porter. I will choose this one. Let's set up the connection with Facebook Ads. If you use Porter or any connection, you will at least require three parameters. One is the ad account, one is the conversion window, and one is the report time. I will explain them to you. The first thing, of course, is the ad account I want to report or visualize. Something special about Porter Metrics is that you can bring more than one Facebook ad account. More connectors only let you connect one account at a time. What is the problem? Google Data Studio comes with a limitation. If you ever want to blend your data, you have up to five data sources. Now, let's talk about conversion windows. By the way, in the description of this video, you will see a full guide on Facebook Ads reporting on Data Studio where we explain conversion windows with more detail. I will go to conversion window and I will click the recommended option. But if you want to learn about this, I recommend you this guide. And finally, the report time. Again, let's choose the recommended option. And finally, go to add. Without my explanation and with Potter, you can see that you can connect your Facebook Ads data in a matter of seconds to Google Data Studio. This is the first way to connect your data, but I will go back to the website and I will show you from there. So I will close this tab and let's do it from portermetrics.com. So on Potter, you will go to try for free and here you will choose a connection and I will use Facebook Ads. Of course, this is not my first time using this connector. If it is your first time, you will need to sign in with Google and then sign in with your Facebook profile. What you will do is that Potter will retrieve all your ad accounts from your Facebook profile. Important note, we don't retrieve any sensitive information from your profile, but your email and your Facebook ad accounts. So here, I will do it again. I will choose an ad account, I will choose Porter Metrics here, and then the default conversion windows. Then I will go to connect. What I will do now is that I will navigate through these report templates so you can understand your possibilities with Facebook ads. The first thing is overview. Overview is a report template that we have with some basic metrics like amount spent, which is the amount of money you spend on ads, leads, CTR, link clicks. And you can see that we can break down our data by device, by gender and age, demographics, and also the platform. Platform is if these people, if users are seeing your ads from Facebook, from Instagram, from Messenger, from the feed, from stories, wherever. So this is the first chart. This is another great report template example. If you want to know if people are interacting with your ads, you can visualize, for instance, the number of post engagements you have. I see that I have 10,000 in one month. This is the engagement over time. And I can see also the most engaging ads on my campaigns. I can see that my videos are the most engaging ones. So this is a great deal because Data Studio lets me visualize, lets me see the creative of my ads. Let's see another cool example. These devices and location report show us where people are interacting or converting or engaging with our Facebook ads. So I can see that for Porter, most people interact with mobile, most of them use Android devices, 
and most of them use Facebook and Instagram. We don't reach as many people on Messenger. This is the standard behavior for most Facebook ads campaigns, by the way. If you are an e-commerce, maybe Instagram is more important. For B2B, I guess Facebook is more effective. Let's see geographic reports. This report shows us the geography of our Facebook ads audience. And I can see clearly that we reach people everywhere in the world, but mostly in Colombia and Latin America. So I can break down my data by country, but I can also break down my data by cities. When it comes to video engagement, Facebook ads is super powerful because I can visualize, of course, how many video plays I have, how many video plays of 15 seconds, of 30 seconds, and through play actions. We explain through play in our guide in the link. But something cool about Facebook ads metrics is that we can visualize video funnels. How I say this? I can visualize the ad image I am showing. If you report no data, it's because this ad is not a, a video, an actual video. So these ones are videos. And I can visualize, okay, how many people are playing the 25% of the video? Of them, how many 50%, how many 75%, how many 95%, and how many of them play the video entirely? This helps you understand where people are stopping to watch my videos. And with this, I can make decisions of future content. Let's see two final cool examples. One is campaign monitoring report and then ad quality report. First, go to campaign. All our report templates are inspired by real use cases from Facebook marketers. And we noticed a concern. First, overspending or underspending. Sometimes marketers turn off their ads accidentally and they should be spending money to get conversions. On the other hand, some marketers are concerned to spend more than they should. This ad quality report template lets you know why your ads are underperforming, why your CPA is so high. Well, with Facebook ads, you have three ranking dimensions, which mainly are benchmarks against other advertisers. So for instance, quality ranking compares the quality of your ads versus other advertisers. For Facebook, I can see that Potter metrics quality is super low. When it comes to engagement rate, we are super low. And when it comes to conversion, we are better than average. I can see that our landing page is good, but our ads are not effective. And I can do it with a visual way. I can know if our ads are average, if they are bad, and they are good. If you are wondering how to reduce the cost per acquisition or the cost of your campaigns, you can start with your ad quality reports to spot under average or underperforming ads. You can see that we have many report templates and endless possibilities and every week we launch a new report template. Now let's create a report from scratch. I will go to edit and then I will create a new page for this report template. The logic of data reporting is the same always. You start by asking a question, then you choose a chart, then you choose a dimension and then you choose metrics. Let's do it. I want to know how much money I am spending on ads. So I will go to insert and I want to see, I want to visualize a scorecard, a simple plain metric, and I will drop it here. And the metric I want to visualize will be, if the question is how much money I'm spending, the metric is amount spent. So here, instead of cost per lead, I will go and I will search amount spent. Okay, I am spending 8 million something. We are in Colombian pesos, but my audience or my customers want to visualize this data in dollars. How to do this? Let's create a formula. So amount spent, I will set this formula as uh, in USD or in Colombian pesos. So this is COP. Perfect. I will transition to US dollars. I will go to Control C, Control B, and just for this exercise, we will create a formula to convert from Colombian pesos to US dollars. I want to show you this so you can understand the possibilities of Data Studio. If you know how to create formulas on Google Sheets or Excel, you can do them as well on Google Sheets. I will go here and instead of the metric COP or amount spent, I will go to create a new field. And this field will be called USD and will be amount spent and I will divide it by the conversion. So here it is the conversion of the Colombian peso and I will go to apply. 
So with Data Studio, we can visualize our spend on Colombian pesos and US dollars with a standard formula. By the way, Porter also has an option to automatically convert your currency to another one because the Colombian peso and the dollar don't have the same value every day. So this is just an example to show you. Now I want to visualize my conversions over time. If it is over time, the best chart to do this is going to insert and then we will create a time series chart. Okay, I'm visualizing amount of spend, but this is not the question. The question is conversions. Porter doesn't track standard events. We track custom conversions and the way we call custom conversions, our custom conversions are called GDS. So to give you context, GDS template reports, which is the name of our conversion is because we do remarketing campaigns so you can download our report templates and we call that conversion GDS conversion templates download. With two clicks, you can see that we can visualize our custom conversions over time and I can see in which days, in what days, we are generating more conversions. But let's say that poor metrics have a target. We have a target of getting at least 10 conversions every day and I, I am not sure if I am getting them. So I will click on this chart and let's do something fun, something visual. I will go to style and on the style, I will go to add a reference line and I will say, okay, if I have at least 10 conversions every day, I can know that this is the minimum number of conversions I should have. So this is the minimum. This will help me monitor my performance. I can see that most of the days I am not reaching my target and I want to see if I should spend more money or what I should do. This is a great visual. I want to show you two or three more things for finishing this Google Data Studio tutorial with Facebook ads. So I want to visualize a map. I will go to insert and then I will go with a bubble map and I will drop it right here. And I want to break down my data by city or region and I want to visualize my conversion data as well. Let's see if it works. And great, we have a map, but this map looks weird because I actually don't have any metric. So I will choose the size with a, with a metric and the metric will be the custom conversion, which is GDS template downloads. And this is great. I see that most of my conversions happen in Colombia, in Brazil, and many in Europe. That's, that's cool actually. I will show you something else. I will control C and control V and we'll make this map, I will make it a table. So once I have this map here, I will go to this dropdown and instead of a map, I want a table here. This is great. I am visualizing the same data, but as a table, but the dimension, the breakdown, I don't want it to be country. I want it to be gender or age. So go to gender or age actually I have many and here age and I want to break down my conversion data by age as well. Pretty cool stuff. I have my data by age. I want to add also device. Let's see if it works. So I want to use the dimension device platform, which will show me if people are seeing my ads from mobile or they are converting from desktop and so on. So here device and it will be device platform. And voila, our chart is breaking. This is normal. I will show you why. I will go to see details to understand the error. This is one limitation. Facebook says, sorry, but you cannot combine age and device platform in the same chart for this data. This is the kind of limitations that you will see that there are some dimensions that you cannot combine together. That's a shame, but just to show you that this will happen with any connection because this is a Facebook limitation. This is not a Google Data Studio limitation. I will click on OK and I will show you one more thing. I want to visualize the images of my ad. This is a dimension that is called Ad Image and I will drop it right here and I will remove the device platform and niche dimensions. This is great. We are visualizing our ad creatives, but you may be wondering why these images sometimes see blurry. This is the reason. When we request data to Facebook, we can ask for a high quality image, but sometimes 
Facebook doesn't offer this image, then they offer a thumbnail, a small version of the image, and that's why it seems blurry. This is a limitation and a way to solve it is, okay, I want to make this column just a little bit smaller. And this way, this can look better. This is a trick I want to show you and this is a natural limitation from Facebook data. One more thing, let's calculate our cost per acquisition. I want to know how much it is for me to get a template download. So besides the custom conversions, I want to display this metric, the CPA or this cost per acquisition. I will go to add a metric, I will go to create a new field and you will see that the logic is the same. This will be called CPA. And the formula, remember, amount spent, how much money you spend on ads versus the metric. So I will type amount spent divided by custom conversions. Once I have this formula, amount spent divided by custom conversions, I will go to apply. And this is great. We have a table where we can visualize by ad image, which ad is performing better in terms of cost per acquisition. Hey, thank you for watching this tutorial. I really enjoy making these videos for you. So you don't need to code and you don't need to be an expert to automate your reports and understand your data. If you want to learn how to blend your data, to use custom formulas, metrics, regular expressions, and all this stuff, remember, remember to follow us on our website, social media, and YouTube. I will see you. I will see you in the next videos. Bye, and thanks for watching.